All right, welcome back to uh, Road 906. So on episode six for this one, continue where we left off. Um, it's been, I think, a couple of weeks since we've uh, I've played this game, so we'll uh, see where we're at. Here we go. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Ah, yes, welcome Sonia. to the Sonia Show. Well, viewers, another robbery has occurred on our roads. This time, the victim was one of the sponsors of our show, Super Supper. Bizarrely, I'm told the robbers used a pig to collect their funds. Speaking of Super Supper, have you tried their latest delicious burger? Your stomach will thank you for it. Big news, viewers. I've located a source who saw the missing teen I discussed in a previous episode. Let's call him now. Hello, you're on the air. Oh no. May I ask what your name is? The cab driver. You can call me Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. So, Gerald, you saw the missing teen? Yeah, I gave the kid a ride. Oh boy. Well, tell us more. Looks like the cat's got your tongue. I did want to say something else. Something to you, Sonia. What is it? I'm coming for you. Okay then, live TV folks. Let's move on, shall we? Now let's take a moment to she look just at the latest that candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. As you know, the Sonya Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Who's missing? Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. A lot of people missing. I've got to try and get the, um, I think the Tyrak down in the polls, but I'm not being successful at that at the moment. That's, uh, Sonia's limo. Oh, thank God you're here, kid. What do you mean? You saw that beautiful limo out there, right? That's Sonia's. Yeah, that, that is Sonia's limo. Let's play dumb. Ugh, Patria's best reporter and number one celebrity. Hello? You gotta deliver that champagne up to her. Do that and I'll give you a room and at a discount. I do it myself, but it doesn't seem, uh, classy. And I fired room service last week. They were doing inappropriate things to the food. Fine, I'll do it. Just of course yeah. you will. Ugh, now grab the bottle and get going. Sonya doesn't like to wait. Show go. The elevator's at the end of the hallway. She's in room three hundred seven. Three hundred seven. You got it. I wonder if we'll actually uh, catch up You're with Zoe. You're a loser, and no one knows you. It's perfect. Yes, Sonia. And don't blow this. Yes, Sonia. Jesus Christ! Finally. 
put it on the table and get the hell out. Wait, you ever take photos? Yeah. Not that kind, perv. Just get behind the camera and I'll explain. Chop, chop. Okay, here's the scoop. I've sent Adam, my driver, to meet two members of the Black Brigades in the warehouse across the street. While he talks, I want you to take photos. Got it? The terrorist group responsible for the attack uh, yes. in 86. Am I the only educated person in Petria? I remember when she was drunk in a limo from one of the previous episodes, she um, Down here. admitted to potentially of someone's, uh, someone's injury or death questions? and then you keep that changed trend. topic. Shut. The kid and I will tell you what to say through the earpiece. Can I it's pee, Sonia? It burns. For the hundredth time, no! No peeing, Adam. You have to stay there. Okay. I'm okay. going in. Going undercover mode. Hey there, guys. Hey there, guys. Jesus Christ! Evening, Thelonious. If you say so. Sweetie Pie, take a photo. Let's talk inside. This better be good, Thelonious. We baited them. Mm -hmm. Thelonious there supposedly has important info. Adam! We can't see you! You it's gotta the make them move! Guys, uh, can we go somewhere else? The Feng Shui is off here, right? You're a very strange man. I got a bad feeling about this, R. Relax. We're looking for Nice. With that kid Alex's help. Sounds like a Borat quote. Sir Thelonious, what can you tell us about Tyrek? Okay, honey buns, think fast. Numbnuts needs our help. There's a new pump. Tyrak uh, will be there for the grand opening. Yeah, surrounded by dozens of secret servers. That can't be the only thing you have to tell us. Why'd you say that? You know what? I'm out of here. I don't trust you guys. Whoa, whoa. Let's stay cool. Oh, Adam's a trooper. He'll be fine. You're not going anywhere. Okay. That deploy backfired. We got an earpiece, R. We need to go. No, we go on the roof. It's time for a more serious discussion. Oh, shut up, kid. Just keep taking photos. Whoever's listening, I sure hope your friend knows how to fly. Oh, boy. You idiot! Over there, R. At the window. We see you, kid! He's got a camera! I'm gonna count backwards from five! If I get to zero and don't have the camera, Thelonious goes over! Got it? Don't you dare give him the camera, honey buns! That's my story! Five! Four! Oof. Three! You know what? Sorry, Thelonious. I guess the kid made his choice. Ah! Come on, Tim. We're getting out of here. Whoa. That was cold, kid. You just killed Adam. Well. Watch my next show. You'll see. 
Uh, Adam? I mean, Adam! You're alive! It was all the kids doing. Please explain. I tried to save you, but he saw an opportunity and ran with it. Get out of here, kid. Before I throw you through that window. Truck, stopping, young the boy. truck's broken Mr. down. Mr. Grizzly broke down. I need to find a phone to make a call. I got this map here. I will go south. Let's roll! Just a huge tree covering the road. I'll make a note on the map. You do make a note on the map there. Uh, gotta go east. No time to waste, young lion. Another abandoned construction. Tyrak and his cronies should be locked up. And we should go east again, and that should get us I there. I hope we find a phone, and soon. A phone booth? Oh, you get oh, your Mark. phone. Wait a sec, I'll be quick. Hello? Robert? Yeah, we have a problem. The truck broke down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Yeah, the transmitter's all right. Right. You it. Yeah. Fine. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, thanks. No, I didn't. Understand me? Now let's get back to Mr. Grizz. Hopefully he's all right. Well, oh. everything's here, young blood. What a relief. All in this thing sure makes my life dangerous. Even got chased by banditos. My friends will be here soon. You should go, okay? Here's the dough I promised. You are true to your word, my man. Thanks, young blood. And your secret is safe with me too. I wish you luck on this grand adventure of yours. I took my car. Everything. Hey, homie, come inside before somebody sees you. This is my secret hideout, yo. No worries, man, I will. Eh, it's cool, dog. Sorry about Actually, that, nice mate. nice to see another teen. I was starting to think I was the only one. Well, it's a prototype. You can't actually detonate it. I've been designing it for this guy I know, Robert. Yes. Mm, just a guy I know. I, I know think who he Robert wants is. It to protect this group he's in. They're called the Black Brigades. Wait, I got an idea. You can be my rubber duck. I definitely FYI, can do that. A rubber duck is someone who listens to someone else describe a problem. If all goes well, the solution presents itself to the person talking. Cool, cool. So first I check the resistance <laughs> with my voltmeter, and everything seems okay. Then I clean the captors, checking them too. A bit painstaking, but whatever. I removed every screw, nut, and bolt, and the motherboard. I put them back again, but it still didn't work. Next, I checked all wires, green, red, yellow, whatever, and they all seem okay too. And that's it. 
I checked everything. Literally everything. WTF! You're a genius! <laughs> to turn on the electricity, we need to find the generator. Could be anywhere at this station. Grab this nail gun. I got another idea. See the cable in the ceiling? Shoot the tiles to see where it goes. That's how we'll find the generator. Put a cap in the ceiling tiles, dog, to see where this cable goes. That's it, homie. It's going outside. Let's check it out. Excellent. Where'd you run to? The cable's running on the ground. Let's follow it. Lead the way. Tell me when you find where it goes. In here. Come on, Alex. I'm coming. Put a cap in that lock, son. Oh yeah, dog. The generator's in here. We just gotta start it now. The key should be around here. <laughs> Yo, you gotta be careful. Your hair looks super crisp right now. Okay. How do you get the key out of there though? Go around the top. Oh man! You might never be able to have oh, babies. Damn it. I'm not a fan of this. Through here. That's it. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, support there, Alex. Okay. I am assuming. Oh. Please, 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 you can get over here. Thank God. Nice. You got it. All right. Let's start the generator. And just like that, we're firing. are on but the station sure is in bad shape you know that's why we need Tarak for another 10 years and not that Flores to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen elsewhere hey want to scare these Tyrak supporters a little the yes. cable goes under their car I can make it active and their car too yeah this place looks closed foreigners <laughs> ah! <laughs> Quit fooling around, Jim. I just got electrocuted touching the car. <laughs> this is one of your jokes, isn't it? No. See for yourself. Why would I try to electrocute myself? Fine. I don't feel nothing. 
Gotta touch the car. Have you met a woman named Sonia? Ah. What are the chances? A hundred to one? No, a thousand to one. Definitely what met do you a... you think of her? What do you mean you're not sure? Looking like we picked up another weirdo, Stan. Sure is, Mitch. Darn tootin'. But now, some troubling news. Sonia is in danger. Someone wants to end sweet Sonia's life. Our plan is to it's stop Jared. this would-be killer. Before they kill Sonia. Go to the yeah. hotel. Before. Our hunch is the psycho is a taxi driver. What we know is, this creep plans to attack Sonia at the border. And that this creep plans to do so on election day. It's certain! Yeah, we do. And on a variety They're of subjects. They're experts on the matter. That's Taxi why. Taxi driver? That would make sense. What doesn't stand is why the kid's in the sidecar. It being in the shape it is. You've gone and scared the kid, Mitch. Did, didn't I? Oh, shoot. What's wrong with the sidecar? Long as you lean into the turns. Just move left and right. Give it a whirl. Whoa, whoa, not that side, kid. Not bad. Okay. That's nothing. Get on up here, little buddy. Don't be scared. Go on, then. What do you think, kid? Yeah, what do you think? Amazing. A taxi oh. driver stood. Could be Sonia's would be killer. How did I know? Kid, get back in the sidecar <laughs> and help us catch that cab.
Did you get a look at the driver? Yes, I did. And... Yeah, that's my recollection too. But it's your fault we didn't catch that cab. I hate to admit it, little buddy, but Stan's right. I'm gonna have to cut you loose. You guys suck. Yeah, but we'll stop this lunatic. I knew it. So long, kid. That was tough. Happening here, our tire fix. We are very close to the border. I wonder where this will take us. Yes, and we need to go over and talk to this person. Just a hunch. Hello, officer. No good, flipping tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? A walk? Just With a walk. Pack peach fuzz? Uh huh. Tell me the truth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, come here. You know attempted border crossing is illegal. You're under arrest. Okay. Unit 2 to Central. Got a flat and a border crosser in my car. You copy? Didn't think she was good in flat the previous one. Do you copy? Mm -hmm. Great. Now the radio isn't working. How am I going to get out of this? Be thankful you're not, okay? And keep that trap shut. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. You're doing what do it wrong. you know? Fine. What do I have to lose? Get out here, kid. But don't try and run away. You'll regret it. Believe me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then have at it, kid. What are you? A tire whisperer? I said I'm a professional. Slap that tire in there. Slap. Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind you. You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here. Gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> Just my luck. I was trying in now. Come on, follow me. Why don't we just Yes? 
I'll take that as a compliment. I guess. Sorry, kid. I just have a lot on my mind. Let me guess. It's uh, your son? With you? <clears throat> That's alright. No offense. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Ron, talk to me. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. Yeah. Me too, Peach Fuzz. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. I told him who his biological parents were. Or as much as I know about them anyway. Hey. Okay. Dangerous people, kid. Very dangerous. They were... Members of the Black Brigades. Yeah. Me too. That explains a little bit about... Um, so the... the um, from previous chapters, the kid, Alex, is her, her son. Or her adopted son. You know about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Yeah. I was working security, hired to protect Tyrak at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Hmm. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. I do. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I can't I figure out who else the real parents would be. From the characters we've met. Thanks, Peach Fuzz. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home. Okay? Your parents miss you. I'm Steve, owner of the Paradise Motel, where just one night will forever change your life. Now, there are rumors of a serial killer in the area, but that's just what those are, rumors. A rumor started by our rival Supreme Motel. <laughs> They're just jealous of our jacuzzi. I think it's great. I think it's a way for florist voters to demonstrate the things they care about. For one thing, Tyrek and Fossoil have done a lot of damage to the environment. Look, I'm against police intervention, but don't try me. Okay. 
I got the money. Okay. Any other options? Good if I could get some food, but I don't think there is anywhere here to get food. Oh no. Happy taxi. Actually, I know what will be good. Now we've got money. Kidding me, I can't interact with them again. Excellent. I'm so much happy with that. Why are we slow panning? Happy taxi driver, isn't it? your room. Don't worry. I'm a taxi driver. I'm used to sharing spaces with strangers. Right. No. Personally, I find it cozy in here. Just you and me. Together. Uh, what, what do you want? Don't worry. I just need your help with a little problem. Uh-oh, could be a cop. They're patrolling motels looking for missing teens. Teens like you. Oh. Just do what I say and nothing bad will happen. You can trust me. Get um, in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Yes, oh, yes, Jared. Hi, Steve. Of course. I'll try the jacuzzi. Well, bye. Oh, you found my little problem. Good. So... Yeah, I need your help with that. Um. He, uh, talked too much. Hey, see that face on the TV? Soon it will be gone. Now. Come on, let's give our little friend here a nice, hot bath. He could use some cleaning up, don't you think? Yeah, I bet you are. Jared, I really don't oh, like you. No. I forgot the soap. No, you don't know what kind of soap is best. 
get the cop into the tub. And don't try to escape. I'll know if you do. Okay, um... And here I was thinking I'd get my full health back and a good sleep. You should leave the bathroom now. It's gonna get pretty steamy. This might take a while. It's very dirty. Shut. One more thing. Oh, is Jared here? I saw him get a gas can from his trunk. Oh, okay then. So, there's nothing I can help Jared with. Phew, what a relief. Yes. Oh, I see Jared's watching the boob tube. Is the reception to Jared's liking? Steve, please go. Oh, okay, good. Well, tell me if Jared needs more channels. Is everything... It doesn't need okay? anything, Steve. Please. I can go away. Now. What's that smell? You guys grilling in there? Fine. But you don't have to be rude about it. Close call. Steve's not a connect the dots kind of guy. Yeah. Here, for helping me with my little problem. Now go. Thank you. I amazingly survived that. Looking for the cave. You read my face. Me too. Follow me. We need to get away from the road. I know where the cave is. At least I think I do. Excellent. My name's Zoe. I don't know about you, but I've had a pretty intense journey to get here. Tough, but good. All I'll say is, after everything, I'm a different person, and that's good. Believe me, I want to help people now, not just myself. Yeah, well, she's definitely had it tough. I mean, she is the daughter to Tyrak. Looks like some real free spirits were here.
You're a free spirit, I see. I used to be like that, too. The radio was right. I can't believe this place really exists. It's so cool. Come on, let's check it out. Look, someone left For their shoes sure. behind. Ah, here we go, it matches. It's somebody's journal. A man and his son were traveling together. This cave isn't only used by teens. He he was frightened they wouldn't make it. Me too. This country has ruined so many lives. Come on, let's go back and start a fire. It's cold in here. That would be the father and son we saw in the light. tunnels, I think. There we go. Can I tell you something? You know how earlier I said I wanted to help people? Well, this is how I'm gonna do it. If you're concerned with the upcoming pump inauguration, it is best not to answer any questions about the basics. We can have that. Not if we hope to beat that woman. We all know lives were lost that day, Frederick Brigades or not. But what we did that day by igniting the mountain was worth it. Think about what they'd do to us if they ever came to be in power. Because her dad's the president, Trirac. Classified government documents showing the brigades didn't cause the collapse mm -hmm. in 86, like everyone says. Tyrak. Mount National was rigged with explosives yeah. to prevent avalanches, like every other year. When the brigades tried to take Tyrak out, he triggered the explosion. He believed there were brigades in the crowd, and there were. He wanted to kill them, even if it meant killing other people too. Yeah. Yeah, they were. For once, the crazy conspiracy theorists were right. I'm going to. I mean, I'm going to try. The brigades are gonna help me reach the other side. When I get to the border, they'll send me a signal. And when I cross, if I cross, I'll share this with every foreign news outlet I can. Oh, uh, if you want, sure. Let me help. We should probably get some rest then. Getting past security isn't gonna be easy. Oh no. Right. Tomorrow is the beginning of the end of Tyrak. I hope. some health back. I was hoping for that. Dear, I realise that now I never learned your name. Maybe it's lame, but I've decided to leave. I just think it's better if I cross alone. It's dangerous and I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Good luck at trying to cross. I'll be thinking of you, my friend, and I hope to see you on the other side one day. 
Yes, there's a big rock near the exit that looks kind of wobbly. I hope it doesn't shift when I leave and create problems for you. Are you kidding me, man? This Walkman is a piece of junk. You should be arrested for trying to hawk this. It's you! It's nice to see you. I thought we'd never see each other again. She didn't get far. Listen, I hope you're not angry with me about the cave. I was just trying to help you, really. Thanks for saying that, man. There's been a delay, but I might cross tonight. That's why I was trying to buy a Walkman. To hear the signal. Maybe I shouldn't say this here. The brigades are gonna send me a signal, telling me when it's right to cross. They could be sending me the signal right now! I need a Walkman! I dropped it in the cave, of course. Come on, let's listen to it in my tent. Follow me. It's got a tent somewhere. That's the story. Beautiful view, huh? Except for that monstrosity in the middle. There's a plan. But I can't tell you here. Come on, let's go to my tent. Exactly, let's go to the tent. It's our plan. Whoa, hold up there, kid. He's with me, Sean. Sure, no problem. A friend of Zoe's is a friend of mine. Sean knows I'm with the brigades. He's cool. Look at those trucks lined up to cross. They're selling our resources to the rest of the world. But 99% of our people will never see any of that money. It all goes to Tyrak and his cronies, including my father. Uh, so, can I have my Walkman? Put it on 191.9. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. Before we begin, a personal message for Z. This is it. The rooster will sing three times. I repeat, the rooster will sing three times. That was a signal. At three in the morning, a truck will crash into the wall. It's a diversion, something to draw security in. That's when we cross. I've been thinking, having someone with me could actually help. Wait, you do want to come with me, right? I didn't even ask. I would totally understand if... Great. Okay, then. I know it's not cool, but we should get some sleep. You know, it's gonna be difficult, even with a diversion. This time when you wake up, I'll be there. I promise. And then, we'll cross together. Well, health and we will cross. Good night.
seconds to reach the exit. Once we jump down. Yes, we can, but we have to believe. My hands are shaking. Yeah, yeah do it. So I've saved Zoe. Yes, you might lose your life but. along the way, but for each person that falls, she's going to spread the blood. Rises up. The trick is to keep moving forward. That's the plan. So that gets us through this uh, through this particular chapter, then. And then, uh, really, we'll uh, since we've got a hundred on Zoe, a hundred on Sonia. Hopefully, we'll start giving the extra stuff for the other characters, and because um, I had two spare missing teams on the initial start of this chapter, so hopefully, we'll be able to get this uh, game wrapped up in the next in the next chapter or two, if all goes well. Well, hopefully, you like this particular chapter. Like I say, it's it's one of those games that's just fun just to track along, see where things go, learn a bit about the characters as you go. Um, definitely the story is intriguing how they all intertwine. Uh, so, but yes, uh, drop a comment, uh, subscribe, like all the usual stuff. And I shall see you in the next um, episode. Perfect. All right then. Catch you.